I'm Ed Asner. I'm Cloris Leachman, and we're here to tell you about an exciting new website from the folks who brought you Funny or Die. It's the newest, freshest, hippest comedy site on the internet. We call it eh.com. Eh.com is a revolutionary comedy site made by and for people who are old enough to collect Social Security. And with any luck, it'll be around long after Social Security is gone. I'm also in this turkey, do you know that? I'm also on the website, I don't tell anybody, it's a secret, Rippy is here. <laughs> You're probably asking, Ed, what the hell are you talking about? What is this thing, dude? First of all, don't you call me dude, Buster. Step one, get a computer. You can't get on the website without a computer. My grandson Jackson knows which one is the best one, he's good with computers. So step one, call, call Jackson. Step two, pour yourself a stiff drink. Oh God, I know, I had vodka and prune juice called a pile driver. <laughs> anyway, I got to pee. All right, step three, get online and figure it out. You know, dummy, are you? Now, if it were up to us, we just put up a bunch of Bob and Ray clips and call it a day. But apparently that's not good enough. Let's be realistic here. Not a lot of people our age are going to make it to this site. It's, it's like the Oregon Trail. You lose a few family members along the way. We hired some kid named Asher. Nice enough kid, weird haircut, Elvis Costello type. Asher said videos have to be short and maybe have a cat and preferably some white guys doing a rap. God, that'd be awful. He showed us a video of a girl in a flower dress by a ukulele. A talking orange, that's cute. And some guy taking an iPad out of a box. He was a nice kid, but we fired his ass. You know, when I was starting out, entertainers spent years honing their craft. Today, you ought to tune a fart and you're a star. What up? Eh, dot com. Won't have any of that YouTube crap on it. We don't have any content, but we have a, a t-shirt, uh, a bumper sticker, thank you, Jesus, and an article in Variety, and that's all these venture capitalists care about anyway, such so a big ad in the trade papers. We plan on starting a bunch of spin-off sites. Uh, dot com. Gif, dot com. Dot com, and, <laughs> dot com, and oh, get out of here with your damn dot com. So with all this, ugh, dot com, should be raking in the dough right out of the gate, and we'll all be rich. Actually, uh, we won't be profitable for a couple of years. What? Uh, yeah, we're not going to turn a profit for the first uh, three to five years. What? What do you mean, five years? Damn. I knew there was a reason Betty White didn't agree to do this. This has been fun at all, I guess. But I think we're going to put air.com to bed. Yeah, it's better we quit while we're ahead. The first rule of show business is that you should get a little money for your work. If I want to do charity work, I'd give to one of those. Look, I don't know how any of this web stuff works, but I do know everyone wants you to work for free in this town. So if you're going to make something for the internet, just make sure you aren't getting screwed. And if you're going to work for free, come over and help me with a computer. Or better yet, with a, with a dishwasher. That thing's like something out of NASA. Okay, that's enough for now. We're done. Well, I still think it's a great idea. I'm not giving up any hope on yuck.com. You'll laugh, haha, <laughs> but I'll be here laughing when I'm in a billionaire seat sitting drinking champagne on a jet made of solid gold. You'll see. One day, you'll see. <laughs> I had one girlfriend. She had two breasts, one in the middle of her back. She was ugly as hell, but fun to dance with. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do it. It's a joke.